Welcome back to the TTP Primo channel, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell down below to be notified every time I drop a new video. And as y'all can see, today we got Mighty Too Hotty lost it. Let's jump straight into this and see what he's talking about on this track. Um, I'm pretty sure this is the track he previewed after um Stick Up and Stick Up was a fire track. He was mixing like the, you know, the plug and B wave also with his drill flow, drill cadence and things of that nature. I actually like the route Marty is choosing when it comes to this, combining like the underground plug and B sound along with, you know, his dark drill sound. I think that's actually a great thing and a great thing people are doing because I'm seeing, I'm seeing Miri BK tap more into the underground and he's fire. Miri BK, I feel like if Miri BK gets more features... Like from outside artists, like if Miri BK and J5 make a track, or Miri BK and Dusty Low Kane. Like we seen Miri BK and Ron Suno, and that did a lot of great things for Miri BK and what he has going on. Like I feel like Miri BK is tough, especially on the production side. Like Miri BK's beats be fire. But let's jump straight in this Mighty Too Hotty Lost It. Let's see what he has to say, man. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the first link down below in the description to watch my latest, newest music video. It's some fire tunes, so go ahead and check that out if y'all haven't already. And with that being said, let's jump straight into this Mighty Too Hotty Lost It, man. Also, join the Discord if y'all haven't. Second link in the description. Come on. Tough visuals. Oh yeah, I think this is the this is the perfect visuals for this this track. They done fucked up, Eli. <laughs> Like y'all see how that beat is like that dark, mm, like th those beats, that those beats is like the, the you know, the plug and beat, Glock 40 spaz type beats, you feel what I'm saying? Those beats is very tough. And y'all see how he's doing like his typical, his typical like drill sound flow on top of those beats. I think this is fire. I think this is very fire. Because to a certain extent, to be honest with you, the, those Glock 40 Spaz songs, those are drill tracks. Like, you feel like, you know what I'm saying? What he's talking about makes it a drill a drill song, you know? Talking about killing niggas, hiding niggas in sheds, spinning on ops and other things of that nature. You feel me? It's literally the same thing. So, I I, I love the connection that Mighty's doing here. Not gang, that nigga lost it. Wanna be gang, you gotta torch shit. Stomach shot, now you look nauseous. Since a jit, I've been on bullshit. One thing about me, I'm a lover, but I ain't really trying to force it. No, they can't do it like me, cause I'm goaded. Call me the ticket, I guess I was chosen. Creep, creep, you know the slogan. That was my dog, I can't believe he folded. I said protect it, no trojan. Try to push up, I ain't loafing. Dudes do not think that I'm joking. She was sneaking the picture, she better not post it. You think he like that? Let's see, I'm trying to pipe that. Who she? Nice body, white teeth. Finally found the girl I wanna meet. This is my he, I ain't gonna lie, that flow was tough. <laughs> flow was tough. Do not think that I'm joking. We sneak in the picture, she better not post it. You think he like that? Let's see. I'm trying to pipe that. Who she? Nice body, white teeth. Finally found the girl I wanna meet. This is my time, you niggas take a seat. This shit ain't hard to wrap up on a beat. Counting up money, mm. I don't wanna speak. I just switched up the flow, now it's hard to compete. Crank, 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 crank. crank. Give me a few, I'll be there just to offer. Top pop, gotta move cautious. It's time to flock, so I do my forces. Nigga, not gang, that nigga lost it. Wanna be gang, you gotta torch it. Stomach shot, now he look nauseous. Since a jet, I've been on bullshit. One thing about me, I'm a lover, but I ain't really trying to force it. Yeah. I ain't really trying to force it. This is tough. This is a tough song. This is tough. I like this song right here. I like this right here. TJW visuals. TJ, shout out by TJ also be shooting a lot of the, the Savage and Mary BK songs 
Free Sav G and them, you feel what I'm saying? But comment down below what y'all rate this track at a 10. I give this, I give this like a 7.5 out of 10. I like this song a lot. I like the flow. I love the beat on this one. He had a few lines I was really jacking what he was saying. I like this. I think this is a great route for him to go, opposed to going back to rapping on Jersey Club Beats. Because the Jersey Club Beats is cool, but everybody does it. Not everybody is doing this. So people are going to come to you to hear this specific sound. Especially if... People from the underground are tapping into more and more, which I feel like is the case due to the fact that he's rapping on these type of beats. Um, I do also feel like Drill, like slowly but surely, there's a few artists that are like ushering in that underground sound. Like when you look at niggas like niggas, when you look at people like Zeffy Lee, when you look at people like Zeffy Lee, shout out Zeffy Lee. She on her one mic, she was rapping on that, that dum dum, like that, like that, that Playboy Cardi rage esque type beat. Um, I also seen Curly Sav do it. And I also seen somebody else do it. So like slowly but surely, the underground sound is creeping in. You got niggas like Mir EBK, uh, uh, you know, saying rapping on those those type of beats as well. You know, my son E Daddy, E Daddy has been th talking about this for months now. Like before Madi came out with the sound, my son E was saying like, yo. I'm going to start rapping on like these, these trap plug and B beats, mixing with the drill sound, ah, ah, things of that nature. And when he doesn't finally drops that music, y'all going to see what I'm talking about. Because I feel like Madi, Madi, Madi's doing it greatly. He's talking real, you know, great flow, great cadence. The thing with my son E though is his lyrics, his wordplay, his similes, metaphors, and things like that, I feel like it's a lot better than what Madi has given us. And off that sole fact, I feel like he could definitely do something to really bring that to the foresight. I also feel like if 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 people like Rax, because Rax also messes with like the underground sound as well. If people like Rax start pushing more of that underground sound with the, the him producing these beats, people hear Rax, Rax, Rax behind it, and then everybody start rapping on those kind of songs. That could also cause a connection between the underground and New York drill. Now you got the underground artists coming over to New York, seeing what they doing, and now they making collab tracks, and now the underground is growing in New York, and now all these underground artists are coming out the forefront, and now New York has a whole new wave. Y'all see how that works on finding a new wave for niggas to cater to throughout music, bro? Because... Because... I I have I have the feeling that a new wave is coming and I feel like that new wave right now is sexy drill. But I don't think I, I, I do think Sexy Drill has the great mainstream appeal because you got dudes like Wolfface Joey getting the male views. You feel what I'm saying? You got people like Cash Cobain producing for Drake, producing for Travis Scott, writing for Drake, you know. So I feel like that has the mainstream appeal. But the mainstream the mainstream sound. The mainstream sound never was the most popping sound in New York, if that makes sense. Like, yeah, you had your little TJs, but once Lil TJ dropped pop out and became a uh, part of the forefront, it was no longer, oh, this is a New York wave. It was, oh, that's Lil TJ. Oh, that's a boogie. Now you have the J Guapos, you know, you have the the uh, KJ Ballers RP when he was he was on his his singing time in as well, and he when he was even on his drill time. In. Drill, I don't think drill, I don't think drill is a mainstream sound. I think drill has mainstream artists, right? I don't think sexy drill, I don't I think sexy drill is a mainstream sound because it caters so well to women. Um and I feel like you could definitely do some kind of pop vibe with sexy drill. Once there's a pop sexy drill artist, that could also skyrocket it too, chat. I never even thought about that, but I'm just rambling. Let me know how y'all feel about the track down below in the comments, man, because I, I love talking about music, as y'all can see. But I'm going to catch y'all in the next one, man. I thank y'all for tuning into this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell down below to be notified every time I drop a new video. And please, please, please click the link to join the community Discord. We would love to see y'all over there. I appreciate everyone that tunes into these videos. I thank y'all for coming to watch this, man. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next one, man. W Primo in the chat. Peace.